Greetings Toy Fans, welcome to Toy Talk Friday episode 16. In case you don't know, this is a weekly show where I talk about latest toy news and stuff that's interested me. And before we start this week's show, let's say a massive thanks to our sponsors, dudebox.com, flatties.co.uk and 2bitrobot.co.uk. If you want to sponsor the show or the website, check out my website below, www.zantoysuk.co.uk. So we're back Toy Fans and I hope the 2bit vlog covered you for last week and I apologise for missing Toy Talk Friday, but from this day forth we shall resume and... Hopefully no more hiccups, fingers crossed. Let's start this week's show by talking about Taylor Curiosities. Now, I did a review of one of her pieces a while back. You can check that out here. And she's done a collaboration with Stu Witter. It's called the Owl Bear Aromatherapy Plush, priced at £25. Absolute bargain, if you ask me. Glow in the dark eyes for the win, in my opinion. And, yeah, I just love the look of this and the price is fantastic. And glow in the dark teddies, whatever next. Something to scare your children, I think. Check out the link below for both their websites. You can pick this up from Stuart Witter's site, but I highly recommend you checking out Taylor Custis because she does amazing pieces as well. So treat yourself to both pieces there. Get a Taylor Cost piece and a collaboration piece, maybe. It's entirely up to you. And while we're on the subject of plush handmade and all things awesome, let's also give a mention to Tobias in his store, Melancholy Mouse. Check out them below for his store and also his Facebook page. He gives away coupon codes, discount stuff on there, so go check that out. I think there's one up at the moment. If you love a bargain like me, then definitely go check that out. His store has got some handmade owls, which I think are absolutely fantastic at 20 quid. He has some painted like wooden toys and just a load of cool stuff, so go check out them below. And yeah, another like handmade awesome store to go check out. So yeah, I also apologise if I stutter in this episode. Uh, my throat is still playing up and it just doesn't tell that I'm sat here for two hours trying to do a Toy Talk Friday. But I want to get these out to you guys, so let's persist. And let's talk about the Brotherford Industries and Ta Tamara Petrosi. You see, I had this up because I couldn't figure out how to say that name and I've still messed it up. So, 10 points to the me there. I do apologise, but... I want to give a quick mention because I think this looks absolutely awesome, the Junior Scoop. I did a review of the mini ice creams and I've spoke about the big ice creams before and I, ju I really, really like this over all of them to be honest. I, I don't know why, but I just do and I'm hoping that they're going to get like a proper release of this out or maybe a blind box series. I think that might be pretty cool, but yeah, I thought I'd give this a mention because let's be honest, it looks awesome. It's a cool collab and... Maybe their next toy. Fingers crossed, shall we? Uh, hmm. I, 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 I don't know. Sat here, think about it. I'd, I'd quite like a blind box series of like different colours and styles. But then one big like five inch figure might look cool. Decisions, decisions. Anyway, check out the link below to Brotherford Industries website where you can probably get more information about this. And you can also pick up the, I think it's the large ice creams from their store as well. So yeah, definitely go check that out. And while we're on the subject of blind boxes, let's also give a mention to the best thing that's been blogged about in the past two days. It is the Ferg's Misfortune Cat, the 2.5 inches tall, $10, about eight, nine pounds in the UK. Th th this is just awesome. Just, that's it. I could just literally end this blog on this is awesome. Good night, bye. But no, let's, let's discuss this, shall we, and why it is awesome. And I guess the first thing is I just love this design. I'm a massive, for some reason I really like the, is it Chinese or Japanese? I fear I may have just offended a country. Uh, anyway, that golden cat that hands move. I actually have one of those. If you go back to the old videos, I try to get it in every video. I like that for some reason. I'm weird like that. And these just appeal to me. Uh, different colours as always. I imagine there's going to be some glow in the dark ones. Looking at these, if you look in the just behind the white one, there's that green one with the green ears and the three eyes. They've all got three eyes, but yeah, you know what I mean. That one looks like a glow in the dark I, I want there to be a glow in the dark damn it give me a glow in the dark uh eight pound blind box 2.5 inches about basically about the size of a dunny great price in my opinion and i can definitely see me picking up three or four of these and just having like a few different colors on a shelf or something just seems like a great idea in my opinion and yeah i think i may have to get some of these for review and maybe even give away at some point uh i did look into getting them for the shop uh two bit robot gonna have to look into that but hey this is seriously like the best thing that's been blogged about in ages in my opinion because i've always wanted the big versions and I i'll either see them and they're expensive or i'll see them and i can't afford it and they're cheap and now i can afford more of them i can just buy loads of blind boxes 
Uh, there was sort of me and a friend on Facebook were talking, and I'm hoping that it's not really, the, you know, like the Brother Fit Industries was like a very limited blind box series. Hoping it's not like that. I'm hoping it's just like a few thousand or something. I'm not saying millions, but you know, enough that I don't have to wake up at two in the morning and crawl to the end of the earth to get four of them or just one of them. Just make it easier for me to get them, please. Please, pretty please. You know, if we got a black background, I'd just be a floating head. How cool would that wouldn't be cool, would it? Anyway, uh, if you're not already sick of my ramblings in Toy Talk Friday or the reviews or the occasional blog that I do on the website, I do I, I do apologise for not making that a more permanent thing. It's just, you know, I get distracted by shiny things and just general rubbish, basically. Uh, I'm blogging for Tenacious Toys. Uh, Benny, over at Tenacious Toys, uh, I basically offered my services, which are poor grammar poor spelling and a love of anything shiny uh yeah i'm basically blogging for him every now and again so if you're not really sick of my ramblings and all that stuff i'll i, I will probably like post a link on my facebook page of the ones i write check out a link below for benny's actual blog there's about five of us i think doing all sorts uh designer toys customs you name it so definitely go check out the blog it's already awesome and I'm not sure if it's going to be made more awesome or more terrible by my presence. But hey, if you want to know what I think about the latest toys, go check out that. And I'll keep you informed on what posts I do. I've done two already. And the next one I'm doing is the Tendo little cartridge blind box things. I'm just doing a write-up on that. But I've actually got some of the store. So I'm going to speak to Benny. I might hold off that and actually do a full-on review of it. Uh, also, the... Ah, oh, God, it's gone out. Yeah, the John Paul Kaiser Pandas. There is a Tenacious Toys exclusive, and I'll be doing a special video review for that, and that will be up on the blog only. Not You won't be able to see it. Well, you won't be able to see it on the channel. You'll have to go to the blog to see that video. So all this information I'll be tweeting and Facebooking all that. So, yeah, just thought I'd let you know that I'm taking over another piece of the internet, as it were, and I, I don't know if this is a good or bad thing. Who, who who thought that was a great idea anyway there it is the cause resting companion now i i have one of those hit and miss things with cause and to be honest <clears throat> i think some of his work's a bit of a joke i mean he puts two x's on something and it sells for a mi well not a million pound but you know what i mean uh there was like a cause was it a cause watch there was like a thousand pounds or something there's like a cause rug for 200 quid we, are you mental yeah i just think cause is overhyped and overpriced but stuff like the companions i really really do like and i guess when i get to the position where i can afford to get serious pieces for my collection they're the things that i will own and will get and collect and <sighs> but for now not gonna happen and this is one of the ones that i really really do like it's the cause resting companion which is basically just the normal companion chilling out in a lying pose sorry about the drum cut there guys uh, i had a coughing fit so gg to my throat there uh yeah the resting companion i just love this i know it's going to be about 400 pounds flippers or buy a load and they'll go on ebay for like 800 quid which will suck big time but you can always dream and i just think this would look great on a big bookshelf of books just at the end of books like a book stop or something i think Something like that would just look really cool and really subtle. Uh, you're going to have a, high, a nightmare displaying this, aren't you, to be honest, because of the position of it. Uh, I guess some people want it so it's the feet are facing them and they're looking down into its eyes, which is going to be a ball ache for most people's collections. But, hey, I think it's an awesome piece. It's a shame that it's going to be flipped for ridiculous prices. Maybe one day, six years, in, six years away on this channel, when I've got an even bigger beard and... I'll probably be greying. I'll be holding my cause companion. I can but dream. Unless in this week's show, talk about the Dragons Custom Show that's taking place in Cardiff at the SHO Gallery. This Saturday, 6 till 9, it's going to be taking place. Bunch of awesome artists. There's a great piece from John Paul Kaiser and his wife. It's black and white. Huge wings. Check it out. I've managed to get a picture. There's the teaser pics for the Podgy Panda one that looks very cartoony. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a whole load of cool, cool pieces there. Some of the names include a little stranger, Blue Frog, Alto, Chio, Chris Ross, David Stevenson, DMS, Doctor Bob Bados, Mister Lister, Nisi, Pete Fowler, PJ Constable, 
Stu Witter, Zombie Keen, Uncle Absinthe, Umi Toys, Triclop Studio. The list is endless. Check out the Dragon Show website below for full information on all the artists. You'll be able to see all the pictures of all the pieces when they go up. And I imagine there's going to be a link or a shop on there to buy the actual pieces. So all the information, everything you'll ever need is below on the link. So definitely check that out. I'd love to go to this, but sadly band duties and poverty basically lack me from actually being able to go there. But it looks like an absolutely fantastic show. Andy, who I met in London, has done a great job with this. So I wish him all the luck with the show. And if you can get to it, definitely go check it out. If not, go check out in below and get yourself a custom piece of art for a great price. And yeah, awesome show. So that's Toy Talk Friday for the 17th of April. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You can check out all the links to everything I mentioned this week's show below, as well as the links to our sponsors, dudebox.com, flatties.co.uk, and 2bitrobot.co.uk. Feel free to subscribe, rate, like, share, and favorite the video. It supports me, and it supports the show. And as always, take care. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. So it's got stuff like this, which is his custom work.